So I'm back in my room, my little bunker here. Uh, so today is a Monday and I'll be coming here tomorrow to get another injection on that bed and then the Wednesday I will be staying here permanently until Friday. So yeah, probably now I'm gonna go home and feel really ill because of the placebo effect, but uh, hopefully it won't be too bad and I'll be here again tomorrow. This is the mandatory elevator footage, going to the zero floor. So it's quarter to one, so only a couple of hours later I'm feeling a bit sick, so I just took a couple of um, anti-sickness medication and uh, hopefully it feels better. So 15 minutes later I have a really bad case of yawning, so I was like, ah, oh, all the time. And I'm uh, feeling really bad now. Got my cute little lunchbox filled with the goodies. Microwaving my own food at school. It is 7.30 a.m. on a Wednesday and uh, I'm in my room. So hello guys, it's the Duke here and uh, this is the day I've been dreading. So the two nights uh, in this little 10 square meter apartment and I've just been watching Donald Trump win the election in the USA so yeah, that's gonna set the mood for the day and uh, I'm gonna change into my hospital clothes in just in a minute. Probably some form of, of hepatitis in there. Yikes. So, I've got a pair of uh, nice little sandals. I'm gonna put those on. Got some hospital socks that don't actually contain the ankle part, so it's just like a straight sock. Uh, I've got a couple of towels. Got my own ensuite bathroom there. Got these trendy lime colored pants. Yep and a matching top and a matching jacket in a lighter shade. So I've just changed into my hospital clothes and uh, it's now 10.30 so that means I still have one and a half hours before they give me the radioactive uh, iodine pill and uh, till then I uh, have the freedom to walk outside that door into the corridor into the hospital but after that I am uh, isolated in this room. Luckily I learned from my mistakes from last time, so I have come prepared with a large goodie bag. So Waitrose has supplied me, well they haven't really, but I have a bag full of goodies. So I suppose I could give the room to her now before I turn the room into a horrible, horrible mess. So if I start by checking what's on that other side of the door. So this is the hallway. I am at the very, very end of it. So this is the area where they bring my food. So they bring my food onto that table right there. And uh, that door is normally closed. And then they leave the room and uh, I open the door and I go get the food once they have left. So walking into the room, here is my bedroom. So I've got a single bed, bit of shelf storage, uh, hangers there and uh, then the window there. On the other side of the room, there is my ensuite toilet. So let's go check that one out. Bam, toilet, shower, clothes bag. So there we go, as of 11.27 or so, I am now a threat to other people. So I am isolated from the rest of the world here uh, radiating from my thyroid. So luckily they came a bit earlier this time so I can start eating roughly uh, at half past one. One thing I don't understand about this treatment is the food. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I'm not allowed to eat carrots. I'm pretty sure those are carrots. Not allowed to eat strawberry. Yep, that's a strawberry. But cucumbers, okay. At least they got something right. Almost half past four. Uh, time is going very slowly. Uh, I've done homework, I've done YouTube, I've done juggling and nothing seems to be working. Help. Help. And just like last time they gave me these menthol things to start biting. These menthol things to start biting tomorrow uh, to keep the saliva producing. Saliva is not really producing that well actually right now, so it's good that they gave me that. So hello people, excuse my scruffy look. Uh, haven't 
bothered to shower yet. Uh, it's day two. So it is day two, roughly a quarter past one. And uh, I've had breakfast and I had lunch and uh, I've done absolutely nothing this morning. So I stole one of these plates from the food uh, thingy so I can make my own porridge. I've been doing that. Uh, they finally got the food right for lunch, so I had a bit of that. There was no carrots this time, yes. And uh, I've got a nice cucumber to chew on later. So I was just watching some Arrow and uh, decided to film the blizzard going on outside, so let's see if we can see what's happening. It is absolutely snowing out there. Uh, it'd be so nice to drift in the snow, but I get to look outside from my window. Duke the Duke's talking. Mad skills. So the time is quarter to ten, and uh, that means it's almost time for me to go to sleep, so I'll finish watching my episode of Arrow, and then tomorrow, roughly about maybe 10 to 12 a.m., the people from the isotope uh, area are gonna come and check my radiation. So it's below 40 micro sieverts, uh, then I'm allowed to go home, and if it's not, then I stay here for an extended stay. Hopefully not. So good morning folks, it's day three and uh, it looks to be a pretty good day. The helipad has been defrosted. So it is a glorious time right now. They have just opened that door right there. Uh, that means I'm radiating well below the limit of 40 microsieverts per hour. I was radiating six. And uh, look, freedom. Freedom is right there. And uh, probably in an hour or so I'll leave this place. First I gotta clean it up. Oh, big mess, big mess. And that marks the end of the radioactive iodine treatment. So I just went to the gamma pictures. So that was the boorest, boriest, well that's not a word, the most boring procedure ever. So you just lay on a table for an hour straight. And uh, luckily only this time, there were only two pictures. So I got out in roughly three hours. And uh, yeah, now time to go eat some salt.